here I am again talking to myself. Hopefully, I got some listeners. Because then I'll just sound like a maniac ranting in my room. But, anyways, uh. <clears throat> Uh, well, let's talk about UFOs, the UFOs right now, the the Pentagon has confirmed that UFOs exist. So what does that mean? Specifically, what does that mean? Uh, an unidentified flying object. That could be anything, you know, that could be anything to be honest with you. That could be a like a bird that you thought that was a plane, uh, some sort of weird um, shaped sausage-like thing flying in the air. Who knows? Could could have been a dildo somebody shot up in the sky. Uh, could have been. You know, a, a kid throwing a paper airplane. It went it went so fast that you didn't really realize what it was. You know, but 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 to the, I want to I want to know. Look, we are I already know that UFOs exist. I already know that UFOs exist. I've seen one. They're not that. They're not that hard to find. They're not. They're not rare. You know, they're they're pretty easy to find. They're pretty easy to find, and you know it's uh, it's it's the aliens that we are more interested in, like the little green man, the the gray aliens. Who knows? Maybe a alien that an alien that looks like ET. We ain't talking about Mexicans here, or illegal immigrants. We're talking about aliens. Creatures, like uh, beings from another planet, maybe a uh, realm, uh, dimension. You know that the the Pentagon said that the UFOs are made of some sort of um, unknown material that is of not of this earth. Um, definitely. <laughs> something that's kind of crazy but i mean we could i mean there's there's stuff that is still yet to be found on this planet we've we've discovered more about you know we we discover more like about space than we we actually do of our own planet mainly because it's like it's very hazardous um going underwater the pressure can kill somebody instantly um volcano heat you know that's also like what well, what's really what's other stuff that we can find like uh where where did these uh possible possible meteors or or asteroids hit uh the earth where they could have uh left some sort of unknown material also like the ufos could be some sort of uh plane that the government made you know we never know that the the government could have made those planes those U- ufos they could have made those cigar-shaped UFOs, those saucer-shaped UFOs. It could have been them just trying out uh, new new uh, prototypes, new spacecrafts. You know, the first time we saw that, the B-2, it looks pretty like, it looks like a bird. You know, it looks, it looks, um, am I talking about the B-2? It's that, that stealth bomber that, that can camouflage, but it's kind of like, a, well, from radar, and uh yeah it's pretty uh it's pretty intense to be in there too because they gotta fly in a really high altitude where they can't be be spotted but enough about that i think i think the ufos is like yeah we know they exist everybody i think everybody has seen a ufo at least once or something that you can't explain but i think i'm more interested in the aliens where are the fucking bodies where are them where are them little green men where are they um just a couple things i saw last week that i could remember was um on hulu there there i saw assassin assassination i think that's what it's called this with like four girls five girls 
<clears throat> they, they the movie is about uh um pretty like a lot of uh what is it called like uh abuse and sexuality and um getting burnt out and you know, it, it's pretty it's a, it's it's a good it's a good film <clears throat> they right away give you like trigger warnings they right away give you um they give you like a they give you what's going to happen throughout the movie i guess for sensitive people you know how they are they're like what the fuck or they don't really like them they don't really like those movies that have uh you know all those uh harsh rated r like a hard r um but it's real though you know it's, it's stuff that can happen for real and things that that are existing the world is you know rated r it's not PG thirteen. It's not. It's not rated G. You know, the whole the whole world is very brutal, and it's all. Uh, and and like if it was a film, it would be rated R. There's, there's violence. There's crimes. So, it's real. I liked it. Uh, it was a little kind of goofy. You know, they they kind of have those, when they you know like the uh, what always kind of grinds my gears is like when they're shooting a gun. And they have infinite bullets, like, they don't reload at all. Especially when you see that they have, like, a revolver, and you're like, you know that's only, like, six, eight shots. You know what I mean? They're, that's that's what pisses me off. But that's, you know, it's fantasy, and they can get away with it. Some people don't really notice it. It's all for the fun. But that's for me, like, that's, that's my kind of, like, what I get mad at. But not really mad, it's just like, oh my god. <gasps> oh my god, like, for real. Reload reload oh and the i just finished watching right now the umbrella Ca academy it came out on uh last week on friday i saw this first season i was waiting for that second season to come out very very much um very much very much interested in it i saw it from the first season um just a, like a a recap <clears throat> the first season involves them i mean it like Okay, let me give you the, it's about, like, superheroes, they're superheroes, or, like, they just got special powers. One of them can, uh, can teleport, like, jump, uh, another one, that's number five, they're, and then they also have the, their names, they're, like, numbers, so, like, number one is, like, uh, he's, uh, he's got, like, a monkey, like, he's got, like, a gorilla body, and well, basically, he's got super strength, but he's got a gorilla body. Number two is uh, he's a uh, he's like a he can pretty much um be in the water for a very long time, and also can slow can like uh, has telekinesis in a way he can control like his knives to go in a certain direction. Uh, number three, who's number three? Number three must be the the chick that can uh, tell people what to do. She's like, oh, I heard a rumor that you sh shot your head, that you got shot in the head, and then so and then he shoots himself in the head. You know, it's like that. And then we got number four. Who's number four? It might be Klaus, who's uh, he can like he's he's uh, he can resurrect the dead and. Uh, he can resurrect ghosts and also like um, <clears throat> basically have a zombie army if you wanted to. But the the show doesn't really give like give him the full powers, you know. Like they don't go too crazy, except for like uh, Ellen Page's character, who she's got the power of like um, like waves. She can like make waves and make a bomb. She could float, you know, making waves is very. It's, it's like you can't say it like it's a scientific but yeah it's it's very fun it's a very fun show and they're pretty much trying to stop the apocalypse and then the second season is also the same thing but it's now been uh they've been set back to when they were about to kill jfk like 10 days before so they they must try to stop that from happening be, not not the JFK assassination, but like um, 
with the uh, Russians and the U.S. Uh, nuking each other because there was some sort of miscommunication, right? And they they uh, they wind up just on total annihilation. You know, it's the so yeah. It's like what what would have happened if uh, the Americans stopped the Russians and the Cubans actually did something, then that's what it would have been. There's a couple of shows like that too. That one was pretty uh, fun to watch. The Umbrella Academy. It's a it's a, it's a recommend for me. Very fun. And now for the main, sh the main uh, movie is Sea Fever. Funny thing about Sea Fever when I was watching it, I got a, I was eating like, um, you ever, you guys ever heard of turbos? They're like, they're like takis. Or they're just like um, tortillas or like, they look like pasta with like the hot Cheeto dust, basically. And like, and like, just dumb, in a dumb version, like simple version. It's, it's just, it looks like a pasta with uh, Cheeto dust. That's, I guess, that's what I'll say it looks like. Um, okay, Sea Fever. Uh, it's about these people and it doesn't go well for them <laughs> all right so it starts out with this uh, chick uh, she's like this ginger girl she got red hair she's very pretty she's a smart she's a little smarty girl she uh, studies uh, micro probably microbiology, marine biology. Um, and the, her boss tells her, hey, um, go um, go to this expedition, study, because, like, I don't see you having friends around here. You got to make some friends. You're, like, you're bumming people out, you know, basically. <laughs> like, that was, it's, like, ripping on her. Like, come on, you got to meet some friends. You got to have some friends. You got to talk to some people. And so the boss tells her, okay, and the boss, and she goes like, all right, fine. And so she goes, yada, yada, yada. Um, all right, and she uh, meets the crew, this uh, this one guy kind of fancies her, you know, she, he, he kind of is like kind of flirtatious a little bit. The, there's this old lady and uh, this these two other um uh, foreign guys, uh, I forgot their names, Omid, the old lady is, uh, Ciara, and, the uh, other younger guy is, uh, Sudi, and the, the, the guy who's, um, kind of, like, you know, starts flirting with her is, uh, ja is Johnny, when the, and the main protagonist is, uh, Hermione Corfield. Hermione Corfield. Cor Cor Freya is the captain of the boat. And uh, Douglas, I mean not Douglas, <laughs> Ger uh, Gerard is the skipper. <clears throat> and so they go on a boat. Go, they go through this... Uh, they're, 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 they want to go to this uh, exclusion zone, they call it. It's it's basically a forbidden zone. Like, no, no, uh, no boat, sh or no boat, no ship should pass through there. There's something going on, don't go there. There might be some whales or some whatever. And, um, so they still go into it, the skipper, um, without the captain's per uh, permission, goes to there to that to the exclusion show to the exclusion show uh, sh uh zone to to probably just see what's in there or maybe just um uh, what's it called shortcut through it because they have to go around it so i guess he didn't want to shortcut it or any, or something like that um you know there's there's a uh, then they 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 get um into a crash while they're they they reach the exclusion show uh, the exclusion zone. Fuck, my tongue is sticking to my mouth. Okay, there's um. 
there's something there's something uh in the water and and then they and then so they go check the the boat and they see like there's some sort of rotting going on or like some sort of uh like the wood is melting or something like that it's like turning into liquid so they think it's uh coming from the outside right and the the the, the protagonist uh Shoban she they they tell her go check out what's what's under there let's let's uh, see what's going on and um she goes she she dives down and she finds this sort of uh, a tentacle or some sort of tendril as she called it and it was um pretty much sucking on there like she had to cut it through the knife and then there was some black like uh like not smoke but like a black cloud coming out of it i don't know what it was uh she she like she like looks down and then it's like some sort of giant as it looks to me like a like a jellyfish. It could have been, or like what they said. It, like they they she goes up and they they uh they assume it's like a squid because of the tentacles. They think it's a giant squid, so he the the skipper and the captain assume it's some money, you know. So they try to pull it up, um, to to detach from the boat. Um, but they also, they also, they're still stuck. They're still stuck. So that's why they try to use that. Um, they use some sort of like crank or lever to pull it up, uh, with like, I guess like some sort of, uh, nets. Uh, they wind up getting stuck again. Um, uh, but they see like the, 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 the crank is stuck. So they, they're like, Oh, there's this other boat. Let's go check out that boat. They approach that boat. Uh, only three members go. I think it was Shoban, the protagonist, the skipper, and it could have been uh, could have been Omid. I don't remember who it was. Omid or Saudi, Saudi. Uh, and they find the um, they found the crew from that other ship or boat. They found they find them dead. Like their eyes are just poked out or whatever, and they're just dead. And then the skipper says it's it's probably sea fever, the sea, sea fever meaning they went crazy. The the keeper, I mean the 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 skipper tells them to keep quiet, don't alarm the rest of the crew that they found them like that, don't scare them. Um. And then the 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 whatever it was on the that that squid or that or that gi giant jellyfish lets them go, so and then they're on their way. One of the characters starts experiencing uh, sea fever, which is like going crazy, and then he tells the the main protagonist that he's gonna go for a swim. Remind you that they're on a boat, on a ship, going fast as hell, and he wants to jump in for a swim but this also this guy he always uh experiencing some sim symptoms the the um creature whatever it was um he said he took a shower earlier and and the water like kind of is infected at this point the water is infected um with parasites and 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 he starts feeling like he starts getting like this fever um so he tries to go swimming and they stop him um and then he starts saying that he has he's 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 got something in his eyes and then you just see like a like it could have been like some sort of uh like a leech a little like a leech some sort of worm then he says he can't he can't see. He says he can't see. His eyes explode. His eyes explode, dude. They shoot out parasites. 
little tiny parasites like uh, they look like leeches on in the movie but it, they the 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 girl says the protagonist Shoban says they're they're parasites so it's, I'll take her word for it oh and while that was happening another character who I think it was Sudi Sudi um it's hard to say his name Sudi um He was also taking a shower, taking a nice shower, uh, and so they they go and stop him. Like, hey, stop, stop taking the shower! And then they see him, and he's like, or he's like bleeding. He's got cuts everywhere, but he's okay. He's okay. He's all right. Um, at this point, I was like eating a lot of turbos, and my mouth was kind of getting swollen. All right, so. If you want me to tell you this, the ending, skip for like five seconds. Uh, all right, you want to know now? Okay, the so the what's his name dies. Johnny dies. Um, uh, Saudi dies. He gets a fever and and. Uh, he goes blind and he dies. Um, Omid, uh, Omid, and and uh, Shoban are left. Um, that's who's. I think that's who's left. Yeah, the everybody else dies. Um, and uh, she tells Omid that she's infected, and and then she just fucking. Dives, takes a deep dive down uh, on the bottom of the ocean, and you see the that thing again, the the that creature. It also like it's a it's illuminating, like it illuminates uh, its tentacles, and you see it like uh, illuminating. She just dives towards it, and um, Omen is just left alone, and then just sees a boat. She's another boat, and then that's it. It blacks out. The end. So it's a good movie. Uh, I've seen this movie like four times, I think. The first time I rented it, uh, the first time when I rented it, I did, I didn't really like it as much, and then I had to rewatch it again. I guess I wasn't paying that much attention. You know how you are. You're just sometimes on your phone, and you kind of don't. Uh, you kind of don't. Uh, you don't concentrate on the movie you're watching. Um, and now, on to the news. Apparently, TikTok is being banned, but I don't think it's going to be banned. I don't know how they're going to ban it. Like, um, they have to, because people, there's a shitload of people, I don't have it, but there's a shitload of people that have TikTok. And, and you know what happens to an app that gets deleted? You still get to keep the app in your phone you know and like it's like angry birds when they delete like when they they try to delete angry birds people still had their angry birds and um the only time you could not have it anymore is when you you just deleted it from your own phone so if, if you still have i uh tiktok until it gets supposedly banned because of trump because they're supposedly tiktok is uh Stealing everybody's information, which is kind of funny because that's what <laughs> the government does to you, to its own citizens. They steal your shit. So it's kind of funny they don't want other other countries to steal our shit. But it's all right for them to spy on us and everything like that. Or when the other countries do it to their citizens, they're like, oh, no, this is not liberty. They're hypocrites. They are hypocrites, sir. Um... All right. There's also this. I don't. I don't really listen to her or watch what she says, but Ellen DeGeneres has been getting um, some heat lately. Um, she's per, she's apparently a bad boss. She's mean. Um, but most importantly, she hasn't been paying her main crew. Um, the one that she show you know she she runs the show with live. You know, since this whole COVID thing has happened, 
uh, all these uh, talk show hosts have not um, been on TV. They've been, I mean, not having a live audience, but they have, uh, they go, they do it at their houses, and then, and then, uh, it's not the same, you know. They they don't have the same rhythm and the same funniness to work uh, with them. So Ellen, yeah, she didn't pay um her crew. She she got some other non-union crew instead. She, the original crew got a forty percent reduced uh reduction on their pay. Um, there was also a lack of transparency. Uh, for a couple of workers, they were uh, left in the dark, reported by Variety. Um, the ex-employees say that one of the ex- executive producers had a reputation for being handsy with women, reported by BuzzFeed News. So after like all that shit, then this came out uh, about uh, ex- an, exe- an executive producer being handsy. So I don't know, like maybe it could be some sort of... Uh, could have been some sort of a revenge plot or I don't know. It could have been something. But other than that, like, um, thank you. That's it. I think that's all I got for today. What am I missing? No. All right. This is, has been the loneliest show. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.